بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہائے ایوری ون ویلکم ٹو دا چینل آئی ہوپ یو آر ڈوئنگ ویل ٹوڈے آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ہاؤ کین یو ڈفرینشیٹ بٹوین ٹائیفائڈ فیور اینڈ ملیریا فیور آئی ہوپ دس ویڈیو ول ہیلپ یو ویری مچ in your clinical practice so let's start the first difference is typhoid fever doesn't cause rigors as it is a slow rising bacteremia whereas malaria almost always cause rigors because of massive release of antigens or toxins in the blood due to hemolysis Remember this point, when a patient presents to you with fever, so always ask about the rigors. The second difference is, typhoid fever happens multiple times in 24 hours due to bacteremic episodes when bacteria moves from ileum to blood. whereas malaria usually cause single episode of fever with rigors in 24 to 48 hours depending upon the type of malarial parasites life cycle duration as you know better that no malarial parasite has life cycle less than 24 hours the third difference is Typhoid fever increases in intensity from first episode to another, like in step ladder pattern. While malaria fever is high grade from first episode. So always take a good history of fever to know these patterns. The fourth difference is Typhoid fever has a relative bradycardia while malaria fever present with tachycardia this is a very interesting and the main differentiating point between typhoid fever and malaria fever the fifth and the last difference is malaria being infection of red blood cell leads to early stenomegaly on day 2 or 3 of infection. Whereas typhoid fever can also cause stenomegaly, but the response is slower as the red blood cells are not affected and you know very well. Spleen is very sensitive about red blood cells. This was all about today's lecture. Thanks for watching the video.